sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. Yes, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. It's, um, it's Thursday the 4th of July, which, for our Americans, our American cousins, is Independence Day. You need to celebrate that. All good stuff. American. Fireworks. Um, and other things. Booze. Booze and fireworks always go well together. July the 4th, Independence Day. Tonight, I am joined by my usual... I'm not, am I? I have no Daz. I have no Keith. But, but you I, got me. I've got Kat. I've got Kat and a cat here. She's over there. Say hello, Kat. Hello. I'm here. Hello. She's there. Look, I'll put you full screen. Put you full screen. I do have to. <laughs> hello, everybody. Well, I did. Hiya. I did. I did. It's, it's nice to have you along, Chris, uh, in, in, in spirit and in Skype, if not in body. Aye. Oh, it's a long, long way across the water from where you are to where I am. True. By mm -hmm. un under the water. I can reach so. Indeed, yes, and it's it's uh, the cost of a whole car to my <laughs> <laughs> um, Tonight, the Here's Hour will be somewhat different. Yet again, David is going to attempt to do wicking without a safety net. And I've made a mistake. I've left a Skype channel into the big telly on auto answer. Anything might happen. Any of the team might call in. That's why I'm not telling you which Skype channel it is I've left open, just in case somebody would do it. want to call calls, you know. But anything could happen. We're going to do that. I'm going to look at the uh, the Kanga Pro Tank versus the Vision Victory BBC. BCC, BBC, ITV, Channel 4, Cadbury's Dairy Milk and Bar. Um, and generally, we're going to have a little bit of fun. Got some good videos for you tonight. I know some of you have seen uh, some of the stuff that's come up from the knees meet earlier on in the course of the day, but you ain't seen nothing yet. And that's all coming up in the one, two, three. The hit cut. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> you know what we do at the beginning? Everybody says the here's hour after three. So that's all coming up in tonight's episode of one, two, three. The, the is our. And we is back in the What a brilliant weekend last weekend was. Those of you that were, that, that were at the knees meet, it was a great pleasure to be in your company for what must have amounted to 12 or 13 hours, wasn't it, Chris? Oh, yeah, it was great, wasn't it? A lovely venue. Mm -hmm. lovely, beautiful day. Beautiful day. Lovely beer. And nobody can attest to that more strongly than Mr Kitson. Because I think he tried every last pint of it that was in the place, didn't he? <laughs> well, it, it seemed that way. I don't know where the hell he puts it. I think he drank his own weight. He wasn't alone, mind. He wasn't alone. And we've got a little bit... Shall we play that video in now? Yes, go on. Let's play Good. that video in now. Now, Chris has seen the full version of this. And what I've got to tell you is, as you probably know, Andy Sutton was there. And Andy was getting footage together for Swaff. And you've seen the brilliant stuff he's been doing. And indeed, I'm going to be playing some of that a little bit later on. But we decided it would be good to kind of do a piece of camera and let people that don't know, know what goes on at, at the, 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 the meets, at, at the vapings, at, at call them what you like. So he said, can you do a piece of camera and take people around and show them? So I did. 
and you might have seen a snippet of it if you've been on Twitter and if you're not on Twitter should be um, but anyway you know what can I say I think you just need to watch this and I copsed when I saw this for the first time and you'll understand why Hotel, which is a Marston's brewery in South Shields and just at the end of the bar we have what appears to be a lot of people smoking but in fact it's just electronic cigarettes so it's just vaporized it's like smoking but it's just vapor really no tobacco or that it's healthy smoking <laughs> kind of when I got that device through the door I always remember I had my last cigarette one o'clock in the car, the device came, I put it on charge, which took an hour. I took my first draw and I've never had another cigarette since. I've been vaping just over four years. Um, I found e-cigs on a car forum and I was at my mum's house and I said, we've got to try these. Thought maybe it'll replace one or two cigarettes. And within a week it replaced every cigarette. There are studies out there that say that vaping is up to 99% more safe than smoking tobacco. And we're faced with a situation where it might be hard to get hold of the, the liquid that I put in this thing, but I can go to the petrol station or the corner shop or the supermarket and buy the tobacco that we know kills you. One of the biggest factors when I first got this and I seen that it could be effective was my mum who's been smoking for 40 plus years and I thought this is something that can make her be in my life for longer and other people should have that option. Children growing up now are going to see their parents dying before they graduate, before they get married. Things like this can stop that happening. After four years of using these things, I can't imagine going back to fags. Why would you? As we stood out here where the smokers normally stand, you'll see there's a definite paucity of smokers. And the reason for that is they've all turned the e-cigs today. They've been going across to see Peter. I'm doing some telly here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Very sorry. <sighs> Take two. Hi, I'm here at the North East. He smoked his knees up. Here on the 29th of June in South Shields, a lovely part of the world. Um, I'm stood in the, the, the section of the New Crown Hotel where the meat's been on. This is where the smokers would normally stand, but you'll see there's a definite paucity of smokers. And the reason for that is that the majority of them have been across to see Peter. They stand across here trying eating. Follow me. Nice to see you up here in the North East. Nice to see you, Dave. How's, how's things been going for you today? Fantastically well. It's nice to meet so many uh, like-minded vapors around here. And uh, I've heard that you like an alternative. Yes. And I've got you an alternative today. Right. That should you use it tonight, use it on your show on Wednesday, and then happily give it away on the train journey to a unconverted person, I will donate 50 pounds towards swap and let's try this flavor that's just been released i have a horrible feeling i know what's coming <laughs> if it's what i think it is somebody is going to suffer <laughs> that's menthol And those b think I don't like it. <laughs> Look at all these folks that have turned out, and these are not all that's been around during the course of the day. Conversations going on, people swapping notes, people looking at everything that they brought with them to use. Come on. And down here we've got Ray from Spartan Mods, who's just showing the drip tips that he makes by hand. An hour and a half to make a drip tip, he told me earlier. One drip tip in an hour and a half. He's got them in brass and stainless steel. And this is something he's just taken up. Now, Ray is a very, very new vapor. He hasn't been vaping for more than how long, Ray? January this year. 
January this year he took it up already producing mods because he's got a skill in that area and people are swapping skills at meets like this all over the country almost every month. Yes, it's nice to have friends, isn't it? Nice to have friends, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> you know who was putting everybody up to that, don't you? No. <laughs> no, she says so innocently. No, I have got no clue. It was your daughter. Never. Yes, your daughter. I, neither of us would do things like that. I mean, I wouldn't spend the night making up a, a mixture of menthol and everything rotten and getting somebody, namely, I'll get to put it into a hellfire just to tempt you. I wouldn't do something like that. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't believe you because <laughs> you did. I should, I should make a point of letting people know that don't know, Menthol and I do not get along. But for 50 quid for swath, I have little choice really. There it is, pink to make the boys wink and some of the girls, I suppose, in an EVOD. <laughs> oh, God. Now, that... Mi oh, Jesus, that is horrible. Hello, who's this? Hello? What's going on? Hang on a second. I've got calls coming in. Where's it gone? Ah, oh, it's Mr. Dibley. I would have done that, Dave, honestly. You would, would you? Oh, yes, most definitely. That's yeah. very, very nice of you to say <laughs> that, Gary. You, you use menthol, though, don't you? I do, yeah, yeah. But I know the effect it has on you, so I, I may have partaken in that if I could have made it on the day. Do you, uh, could you, could you perchance share with the nation what effect menthol has on me? And keep it clean. Well, I, I do believe it, it sort of generates some um, air pockets, shall we say, that are released spontaneously. <laughs> <That's too> <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Chris? I just love the wee put that. You mean it makes me fart? That's what I meant. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly right. That's exactly what it does do. And I've got no idea why. It just does. If I get too much menthol, my chair gets all creaky. That's... <laughs> It's so, like eating my wife's dinner, Dave. It does the same to me. Well, now here, <laughs> just so everybody knows, because we hear a lot about Mrs. Yeah. Dibley, but nobody gets to see her. I did earlier on today. Apologise. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope the hell she's not watching. You're a dead man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got to have a. I've got to have a vape on something decent after that menthol. That's just horrible. <laughs> She came across to tell Gary that his dinner was ready. 10 to 15 minutes later, he went to get it. And then he wonders why it's like charcoal when he gets across there. You're a bad man, Dibley. You really are. <laughs> how's the, uh, how's the uh, drip tips for children in need coming on? Really well. Yeah, we're, I think we're up to... Um, God knows. I, I think it was, it was 250 quid yesterday. And uh, we just sold another one tonight literally a few seconds before you went live so oh. good so hopefully it's, it's by the weekend we should be 300 quid plus and uh, and that'll be i think then there's another 20 to go in this first round so we're looking at doing sort of a 30 and then probably a, a 20 near the end because i've started early this year because we're going to run right the way through until november Excellent stuff. Um, shall, yeah. we, shall we let them on in the, into the little secret that we were talking about earlier on? Not the I one that you posted in the chat, but what we were talking about. I reckon you should. I, I was going to, I mean, the reason I come in, Dave, was I reckon you should share all. <sighs> I, I should stop watching your show. If you don't <laughs> watch Tin Your Tip on a Monday night normally, it's Wednesday night next week, and thank you so much for that, Gary. I really do appreciate it. That's all. Um, if you, if you, if, if, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Gary showed drip tip making, turning drip tips on a lathe. And you know how sometimes you sit there and you think, ooh. Well, I sat there and I thought, ooh. And I might have to go to close you up, you come for this. I will have to go to close you up, you come for this. Um, what you see being waved in shot there now 
is the result. I know it's, I'll try and put it against the black. There you go. I don't know whether you'll be able to say that, Gary, if you've got the show running. I've um, got it on mute at the moment. Oh, well, that's all right then. So <laughs> you, that, that should come through to you. Now, it's not polished. It isn't polished. But my darling daughter and my wife said, what do you want for your birthday, Dad? And it had going to be an iPad mini because I hate Apple stuff. Everybody does. <laughs> um, and I thought, after I'd watched Gary doing it, I, I, I used to get a lot of enjoyment out of time flies and what have you. And I thought, I want to have a go at that. And Gary said, go and have a look at these pencil turning video. Have you seen any of this stuff, Chris? The pencil turning video stuff? I haven't seen the videos, no. But I mean, I have to admit, you know, it's had the same effect on me. It's fabulous. Looking at those blanks, is it you call them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God, the colours. Fabulous. It's it's good. I think David, I mean, I, obviously, I, the first time I'd seen it was when we had Graham on the show. And, and same, same thing, I never thought of it before and, until I was talking to Graham. Um, and I'm addicted now. Like I was saying to Dave earlier that, that it's bad, yeah, not that, <laughs> bad, bad day at work, come in, turn a tip, job's done, stress gone. I, I think it's, 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 yeah, I mean, right. To finish the story off, they said, what do you want? And I said, can I get a pencil turning lathe and some blanks and the bits and bobs you need to make it work? So it turned up. And I've, I mean, I've blown about five of them up, you know, because of just <laughs> fingers and thumbs everywhere. But just, just there you go, look. They're all there. Well, half of that one's there. They're all there. Haven't lost any yet. Um, and... <laughs> And I'm going to do a video for Gary, but that's going to have to wait a few weeks yet until I get up to speed on all of this. It's you, You're right in what you say, though. It, it's it's a marvellous way to just lose yourself for an hour or, or yeah. whatever and turn out something that's really gorgeous. Have, have you, you haven't got the one that, that got sold tonight anywhere close, have you? Uh, I, I've got quite a few, yeah. Um, the one that sold tonight, the, I don't know how it's going to come out. It's yeah, that one probably really bad focus and um, I think my favorite by far was the one I made last night which was oh that, that is that is gorgeous sorry I've got to switch to that camera so everybody can see that, that is beautiful that little one so yeah it's it's I think it is different on the metal lathe as, as we showed to the last week because it's very hard getting the uh, the shapes I want, I want. I told, I was, as I was saying to you, it's my birthday in September, and uh, I was talking to, to to Graham. He said you'll have a wood lathe soon. So I've spoke to the family, and uh, I think my birthday present is going to be pretty much like yours was. <laughs> it, it's. I tell you what. I, I I used to sit for hours on end upstairs in the little back bedroom with my little vase out, tying flies and stuff like that. And yeah. this turning tips, I think it's going to be a new kind of hobby within yeah. the the whole hobby of vaping isn't it really yeah i think it's, great. It, it's the kind of thing i think anybody can do once we work out the best way of doing it isn't it yeah it is it is as you're saying that the hardest bit is obviously getting everything centered and drilling and all that sort of stuff but uh once you get that right it's um all good fun it is so just we might as well plug the children in need tips while we're here tell everybody what's happening gary Okay, so we're doing a, a tip a day for 30 days. I think today was the eighth tip that's gone. Um, basically, I'm, I'm doing it on, a, on, a, on the UKV forum. It's where I spend quite a lot of my time, and it's in the modder section. Um, and there's a huge thread, about nine pages on long thus far. Um, and what we're doing is, is I'll post a time that I'm going to post a tip, um, and at that time I'll put up the tip for sale that day. Um, proceeds going to children in need, they pay directly to, to a Just Giving fund, so I don't touch any cash. Um, and it's first PM I get when it's posted up is the person that gets the tip, basically. That's how it works, so you, you've got to be there. Basically, it's sin your tip. Yes. See, C-I-N, <laughs> your tip. Sin your tip. Sin your tip. Sin your and tip. I, if I can, I know I've said it loads of times, but obviously the, the, the stainless steel inserts that, that I'm using are donated via Graham at, at Cyan Mods, um, so big thank you to him. And um, uh, he's just sent me a package with, with some more in and um, a load of blanks to, to help actually making the tips. So great, it hasn't cost me a penny thus far. 
that's what we like to hear and a yeah. big thank you to Graham for helping out in that way as yeah. well so I think so I think children needs great have you managed to get one of these yet Chris one of what one of Gary's tips <laughs> no. one of what <laughs> the lush <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I should explain to everybody. Cut's the producer of, of all Thank of the shows. Know. And she's sitting there, she's taking screenshots, she's typing into chats, she's sorting all kinds of stuff out. And then I just go and chuck a question at her, and she goes, What? what? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of wrong on so many levels but so right at the same time i think it's amazing look i tell you what we, we need to take a short break when we come back i am going to do one of these rope wicks do you want to hang around for that gary oh go on i like a laugh <laughs> <sighs> right hokey dokey and i did see in chat that um i think it was doug phillips was asking what what the, the name of the lathe was it's a db250 is what I've got. It's it's only about that big, tiny little wee thing, but it's big enough to be able to get your tip turning <laughs> at, a, <laughs> at a right. You know, you, it's not too long in the shaft. And let's go at the adverts. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Super6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. I nearly forgot we were live there. Good grief. Sitting having a conversation in the background because at the moment Chris is re wicking. What are you re wicking, Chris? I'm re wicking me spheroid. You what? Me spheroid. Oh. Me managing spheroid. that. Spheroid. Oh, All right, I see. It's decided not to walk very well. So it's all getting redone. It is. It's all getting redone. And I've on the wrong glasses. You know, this is going to be fun. Okay, I'll race you. Go on then. Shall we do? Shall we do this, Gary? Oh, God. cable, cable wick. Here we go. Close you up, he cam, ready to go. And close you up, he cam. It is. And oh, excuse me. <coughs> that's the menthol, right? Um, is that another balloon blown up? Yeah, that's another balloon blown up. There's no problem there. Now, cable wick. We picked up a whole load. Thank you to Mad Dog um, at the weekend at the knees, mate. I'll just move the atomizer out of the way. And this, this is it and you, really you don't need much um this is two millimeter and it, it's stainless steel rope we've checked it all for nasties and boiled it up and burned it up and stuff like that and it's all good stuff so here's how you do the whole job of making a wick with this stuff you need your atomizer of choice and i'll put that around so you can see it 
and then what you need to do is put the wick itself in and get it to the height that you want it and then trust me when I tell you that this stuff does not cut easily and these are fairly hefty what do you call them Gary? Cutters. They're cut there you go they're fairly <laughs> You bring a technical expert on and you get no help, whatever. <laughs> right. Side, side snips. Side snips. Well, they're, they're, yes, they're a cross-cut, uh, angled jaw side snip. So, here we go. I'll give it a blast. And the rest of it unravels and falls on the floor, which is fine. And you're left with what should be the right length. And you just check it for size again. And lo and behold, that's exactly where it needs to be. Let's just zoom in a little bit on that and then you can see exactly where it goes. Now, the thing about this wick is it is massively, and I mean massively conductive. And you'll see that there's a nice little gap around it. So what we do next is you take some mesh and zoom out a bit David, because nobody's going to be able to see. So you take a little bit of mesh and you roll the mesh around the wick right at the top are you watching this gary because you're doing it live I next am. week you know that don't you i'm trying to follow you oh yeah are you doing it no <laughs> <laughs> so roll your mesh around and what what the mesh does is it acts as mesh always does and that gives you the bit that you're gonna wind your coil onto so what you are left with he said zooming in again this is this is not how do you do this all the time, Gary, zooming in and out? So there we are. Looks a bit like a London light, only metallic. And then the next bit is dead easy. You need to wind your coil. And I'm going to wind my coil onto that little bit of uh, wick with some 32 AWG Canthal, because that's what I always use. Now, under normal circumstances, he said trying to get the damned wire off the, the spool, under normal circumstances, I would wind this separately and then slide everything through, but I haven't been able to find a former that does the job just yet. So what I've discovered is that it's the method of windage that helps. And if you leave it relatively slack, so you hold it and turn the wick itself, you can get a nice spiral without it being too tight because tight is what you don't want you may need to kind of go back and and, and rewind but you, you don't want it ever so tight all right and i'm going to make that what is that four turns four turns and then cut it off this is all being done live stop sniggering dibley i heard the snigger of dibley going on there snigger away dibley you're all right yeah well he usually does he usually does. Actually, I, well, I saw his wife earlier on as I was saying, Chris, and uh, yes, I can see why Gary's always got a smile on his face. Bonnie lass. <laughs> you didn't see her face. I did. <laughs> well, no, not at first. Where, where the camera was focused at first was potentially more interesting to a certain class of gentlemen. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yes. So there's my wick done, and it's now inserted into the hole. Uh, I've got to be careful how I say that when I've got Mr. Dibley on the show, as we all know. So, right, let's just get that negative wire tucked under. This is an AGI, by the way, and I'm all fingers and thumbs. Why do I do these things, Chris? I've no idea. Well, that makes two of us. So that's that in there. And now we just need the top connection made. I hope everybody can see. Am I doing this on camera? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's good. Makes a change, doesn't it? What happens when you place things properly? Hold that down. Somebody's just got an email. And that's it in place. So now I just need to trim a little bit. Who's that? Oh, it's Gary. Sorry. It's all right. Sounds like you're enjoying it. Whistling <sighs> Dibley. Whistling Gaz Dibley. So there we go. Now, here's the interesting part. And I'm going to use this pink Evod for the next bit. Pulse, oh god, I've pulled it, oh what a shame Chris, 
What's that? Well, I unscrewed the top bit without without unscrewing the coil, and all the menthols dropped out of it. Isn't that a shame? Oh, that <laughs> is devastating. But don't worry, Dave. I've got plenty here. I can drop off for you. No, no, really, it's all right. I wouldn't want to put you to any trouble. It wouldn't put me to any trouble at all. Yes, I love you too. Right, let's do some pulsing. Finbar Saunders from Viz. Finbar Saunders with his double entendres. Right, so we're on a, a, a battery and we'll start the pulse. And look at that. Glowing like a glowy thing. That's because it's already ow, found itself a way to earth. And what you do is you just keep doing it. And because you've wound it slack, you can turn the wick and you can see that it's starting now to move around it. Ow. This is the only thing with the rope wick. It does not hold the heat. And it's starting to move around. Ow. Come on. Ow. Are you, is that you sniggering, Chris? Me, would I? Yeah. Would I? Yeah. You would. <laughs> ah, it's coming around the back. We're getting there. <laughs> Ow. Like Sorry? I was going to say no. Forget that one. I will. I will, I will, I will. Right, that now that I've nearly got it all the way around. Nearly. Ow. You can't smell the burning flesh. I can't. Ow. Ow. Aha. I so want that late video. They're all laughing in there. That's it. I've got it. I think I've got it. Right, there's an easy way to find out. Let's put some juice on. Juice, I need juice. Where's the juice? This juice will do. Right, let's go to uh, non-close you cam and stick some juice on this so people can say I am still alive, have still all got all my fingers and I'll just drop some juice onto said wick. Back to close you cam and press the button and see what happens. And there we go. Look at that, no glow, juice on no glow and it's coming up to heat all right that's as easy as that now comes the time to fill this tank with something nice and stick it onto something nice and after everything else that we've done filling it should not be a problem it would be even less of a problem if i actually had some juice that i liked handy and i have so here we go this is uh I'm not going to fill it all the way because I don't think I've got enough to do it. Here we go. Right. There's not a lot of that. That'll do. And we'll stick a bit of this peach in as well. No menthol, unfortunately, because I haven't got any. Don't worry, I'll rectify that. Yeah, I'm sure you will. You and Sav between you. Nice to have friends. Right. Really is. Right, we're about halfway full there. A couple of drops on the top just for good measure. And then... I shall remove the Vision BBC from my eye taste and go back to the MVP and hold down the button and if I go to camera 3, which is a little bit closer, you ought to be able to see not a damn thing. Why is that? I does not know. All right, find something else. Ah, oh, don't you love it when a plan comes together? <laughs> Do it live, they said. Everybody will love it, they said. It's brilliant, they said. <sighs> right. I'm sitting here vaping away on me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And it's coming up, coming up the heat. It might have a little bit too much. There we go. No glows. That's pretty damn good, that. Um, right, put the top on and have a drag. Where did I put the lid? I took it off. Where did I put it? I give up. I'm not having a good night tonight, am I? Yeah, no. <laughs> I've taken the top off. <laughs> it's kicking about <laughs> somewhere. I give up. I don't know what I've done with it. This Never is mind. live, folks. This is this, this is, is live. this is live. Hang on. I like swapping things about, you know. 
<laughs> That'll do. Yes, Mitch Dog, it fell off the roof. I might have wound that a little bit, uh, a little bit low, actually, and I think the battery in this other thing is possibly a little bit, uh, a little bit dead. So what we'll do? Take a swift blast of adverts while I find a right top, replace the battery in my dingo, and when we come back, we'll blast on. Be back in a couple of minutes. Number nine. And we are back in the room. Now, I have not swapped anything. And Gary Dibley is my witness, are you not? I was definitely watching you like a hawk. And you, you found the top behind you. Uh, it was <laughs> behind me where I put it. <laughs> as these things are. He said, looking at completely the wrong camera. That's better. Um, it was behind me where I put it, yes. And I have, I'll freely admit, changed the battery. And this is it, as it was um, on the AGI. It's, it's not reading very high, in fact, I think it's pro probably just over an ohm, which is why the uh, MVP wouldn't fire it. Um, and it's working, an absolute treat. Let's give it a blast and see. And that, the flavour of that is amazing. Have you, you tried it yet, Gary? I haven't. I've, I've got, um, Mark sent me a little bit to play with, but I, I haven't even attempted it yet. So uh, I reckon I'll, I'll give it a blast and uh, I won't film it, but I'll get some done for uh, Wednesday this week, isn't it? Mm. Yes. So uh, I'll, I'll give it a go. Definitely this weekend I'm going to sit down and, and give that a go. That's two days longer to film it, so you can. I can, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> no stitch up there. Um, yeah. What I have noticed with it is the first drag or two drags of it, not very good, and you think, ah, oh, oh, bugger, or custard, or words to that effect. It takes a little while to get heated up, but once it's heated up, as you can probably gather, it's brilliant. Mm. And it, it probably holds it better for the second drag as well, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Yes. That's pure PG, which doesn't normally whack a great deal out. It's pure PG, and, I, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, Dave, can you move your um, mic a little bit? Apparently, it's knocking against your necklace quite a lot. Oh, dear. I am so sorry. Hang on. Move it down a bit. Mine's in my lap. Is that okay, Kat? That's okay. Yeah, it'll not knock against anything <laughs> sizable there, will it? No, no, no chance. No. After you said it, I was going to, but thought better of it. Is that right? <laughs> it's a night of firsts tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Craziness. Um, I think we probably need to run into a little bit of video. Um, 
as you know, Andy Sutton has been very, very, very busy of late. And if you haven't seen it, you really need to see the bit he's done on Chris Davis up at Totally Wicked. Watch this. Total Wicked's uh, now been training for in excess of four years. Um, I've been with the company for two and a half, um, and the premise that we're in, we've been training out of here for the past year and a half. We put a lot of uh, time and investment into the business to the point where uh, we have now employed 90 people in the UK and approximately 140 people worldwide, including our USA business. So I think e-cigarettes are a real revolutionary product. They offer uh, uh, the user something that I would have loved to have had when I was a smoker, which is the ability to use recreational nicotine uh, without all the dangers that are inherent in conventional tobacco products. I am Chris Davis. I am a Liberal Democrat member representing the northwest of England in the European Parliament and a member of the European Parliament's Environment and Public Health Committee. So, so where are these products on sale? So we sell on the web. Uh, over 50 resellers with dedicated electronic cigarette shops in the UK. We sell internationally through our website. We've got a U USA business of around about half the size of this with its own set of vaping lounges and resellers. And we have a business in Germany as well. So we've got three business units. So principally it was an e-commerce company two years ago, which has now morphed into a much more conventional reseller or retailer selling our products on the high street. I knew very little about e-cigarettes until just a few weeks ago when the first of many, many, many people wrote to me, uh, people who've uh, uh, formerly been uh, heavy smokers, they write to me saying, you know, if it weren't for e-cigarettes, then my health would be much the worse. I know very well the full consequences of uh, tobacco smoking, but I've tried to give up and, and failed, and these are lifesavers. Chris kindly offered to come and visit us to learn more about the market, the consumers and, and the products that we sell. So he uh, will be better informed to represent his view in the European Parliament. Um, I thought it was a, an exceptionally interesting visit because it showed that there are parliamentarians out there who do want to listen, who are willing to spend the time to listen to consumers and to members of the trade who serve those consumers to better understand the product that they're being asked to cast a vote against. Uh, 18 milligram which is four times higher than the European Union would allow us to. And sell. you can't just get the same effect by, you know, if, it was, if it was reduced to say four, by, no. by, by breathing more deeply? No. no. The European Commission and the medical authority here both say they do not want to ban e-cigarettes. But I'm concerned about the outcome of what's being proposed. Um, what's being proposed by the European Commission, for example, is a reduction in the nicotine uh, concentration that can be used. What's been proposed, well, we don't yet know what's been proposed by, by the uh, authority here in the UK. I mean, it could be, for example, that, it, that the products could end up being prescription only. Caffeine is laced into pharmaceutical products okay. because in added to flu remedies, of course, caffeine has a medicinal effect. Mm -hmm. Caffeine is laced into Red Bull for a recreational stimulation effect. Mm -hmm. They're both drugs. One's used medicinally and regulated. The other one is non-regulated, used for recreational purposes. Nicotine is exactly the same. But unfortunately, caffeine never came from the genesis mm -hmm. of nicotine. Nicotine has been brought in to our mindset from a genesis of associating to combusting tobacco. Caffeine came from a much cleaner background. Its, it's seminal moment wasn't in something that killed people. The world seems to have put a significantly greater emphasis to that association than should be applied. And therefore, nicotine is being pejoratized by that association with cigarettes. Mm -hmm. We can't take it any further away. People keep trying to pull us back into that debate. I think it's almost an understandable reaction, that if a product comes to the market which uh, allows a, a user to put an addictive substance into their body, then the first thought is, well, maybe we should be uh, being very ultra-cautious about this, we should be trying to ensure that no possible harm can come to that, that person. But to do that, to take that approach in this instance, is to take things completely out of context. We have to remember that 700,000 people every year are getting their nicotine and tobacco through conventional cigarettes and dying as a result of that. So a shift to e-cigarettes, which could be a real game changer, which could save tens of thousands of lives each year. And we should be very cautious indeed about putting restrictions in the way of a shift of that proportion. I think what has been shown today is if you 
do spend the time to look at the core arguments, find the answers to it, you will find a conclusion which seems to be in direct tension to the conclusion that the committees in the European Parliament are asking parliamentarians to take as read and to vote for. I think Chris will hopefully bring that awareness to others that they need to go out and consider this in a much more thorough way than probably they've been asked to or indeed have committed to thus far. There's obviously a number of different atomizing devices here. There's a number of different kits here. My father was a very heavy smoker. He died like so many heavy smokers of lung cancer. I watched him die over a period of months. He was a radiologist himself, so from the moment he first saw his own x-ray, he'd have known exactly what was coming over the, the weeks that followed. I suspect, because he was someone who I can't believe would ever have responded to nicotine patches. He was a, you know, he always had a cigarette in his hands. I suspect that if he'd had the opportunity of using e-cigarettes, then his life might have been extended for some months and perhaps years. You're not going to get much more poignant than that. Um, I've got a lot of time for Chris Davis and I've got a lot of time as well uh, for Rebecca Taylor because they are about as staunchly behind vapors as it's possible to be and they want the right thing to happen in the EU and I'm, I'm ever so pleased for that, ever so pleased for that. What, what's your take on all of this, Gary? It's well, Andy's doing some great stuff, and the, the 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 quality of the productions that are coming out are great. And again, I I couldn't hear that bit um, obviously because I've got it muted. But uh, from what I see, pictures were great. <laughs> no, it is it, a lot of that stuff. It needs to be out there. It needs to be seen. Um, and you know, Andy's doing a great job of producing it. Isn't he? Absolutely, he's, he's finding the right you know the right people, the right times, being there, um, filming it. So top job it absolutely is yes now coming back to this rope wick because we need to come back to the rope wick you said you'd had a pm during the uh, adverts oh, i did and uh, uh from uh sorry mark uh, but it's mark is it slora mark slora i think so it's yes just, mad dog he's just, yeah he's just pm me and, and offered me some uh, some of that wick so uh i pinged in me address and thank you very much mark i will be playing with that uh hopefully and uh, and getting one made yeah. yeah, live. You've got to do it live. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> well, I just did. <laughs> you got, it's, it's got to be live, hasn't it, Chris? You're the producer. It tell him. Has. Tell him. Tell him. It yeah. has. Live, live or nothing, Gary. Live. Uh, it's got live. To be live. We, we used to do, I think, the tin your tip. The first few shows were live, weren't they? Actually, live, live. First, live. first three were. Yeah. 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 Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's one of those things. If you if if you can, you do, and if you cannot, yeah. you still do. You know, the yeah. number of times I've dropped uh, forty three different shades of kittens while I've been trying to do stuff live on air. Anyway, back to the back of the cable wick, the rope wick, cable wick. Um, it just keeps on keeping on. The one thing you've got to be really really careful of is flooding the top of your Genesis because it wicks so fast. Um, now that we've got this warmed up. If I go to camera three and just yeah, pressed the wrong button three, didn't I? <laughs> right. So I've, I'll just while I'm talking, I'll just hold the button down, and you can see it's perfectly upright. It's half full. That's that's the way it is. There's no camera trickery going on here, and you can see exactly what's going on. Look, my fingers on the button, and we've only just, only just got a little bit of a glow on it. This stuff wicks for Britain. It's amazingly good stuff. It'll just keep on keeping on as long as you keep it going. You've really got no need to do the uh, the tilt and that'll be fine now. Mm. Lovely. Once you get that warmed up and, uh, and working, the flavor floods out. So if you get a chance to have a go, with rope wick, I would absolutely suggest you do it. I've been using it in my uh, RSST um, with, it has to be said, close the uppie cam, I suppose we've got to do it. Close the uppie cam time, uh, there it is. Which, this is one of Madre's 
drip tips, uh, the brass ones um, that I've got in, very comfortable, very nice. I've been using the rope wick in this since last Saturday when I did it, uh, actually at the meet, and it's cracking, give it a try. I would, you don't, you don't even have to have the wick on the bottom, as long as it's got its toes in the juice, it'll get it up there. It's, uh, it's really quite amazing and definitely to be recommended. So what, what are you going to be covering next week, Gary? Do you know, I, I really don't have a clue, Dave, um, at all. We, I think, I, I sort of wing it um, a little bit, and <laughs> quite a lot, um, and it, it depends. I'll, I'll wake up on a Saturday morning, because I, I film the, the stuff on a Saturday morning, and, and come in the shed and, and see what's lying around, and, uh, <laughs> and sometimes it's a mad dash to the pound shop. Um, <laughs> for, for, for inspiration but uh, no we I was, I, I'm, I'm sort of I think we've come to the point now where we're comfortable in that we know we can put something out but we haven't got a clue what it is and, and, until we uh, pick up the tools really indeed indeed um, I, I, I should point out for everybody that, that Gary and I are swapping shore nights next week so, um, VT Talk is going to happen on Monday night when Tinya Tip would normally go out. And that's when I'm going to go through the last of the, the organisational details, maps of how to get wherever and all of that kind of stuff for everybody that's going on the trip. And just really a final plea because by then we'll have a bit better idea of what the compromise amendments are. I don't normally bring politics into the hazo. We like to have a giggle with it. Um, and that, you know, because I refuse point blank to let those buggers in Brussels take the fun out of what we do. Um, he's, he's typing to his... Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've just spotted that Doug Phillips has, has, has put in chat that he's got a bit of video for me. So, uh, uh, don't PM me on the, uh, on the forum, Doug. There you go. There we go. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. Uh, what are we at? Oh, Mark's saying at the next knees up. He'll bring the rest of the, the, uh, the rope along and it'll go to someone who'll be going to other mates around the country as a sort of paid forward thing. Mark, that is amazing. And, and if there are any MEPs watching, that's what this community is like. We help each other all the time. In fact, I, I got a, an email earlier on today from somebody who in the last week had gone and bought a starter e-cig. I'm not going to say who he bought it from, but it was a lucky like and had then gone and watched one of the videos that I'd done about what to buy when you're starting out and emailed me just to confirm that it still held true and ask a little bit of advice. That's what happens in this community. Everybody pulls together. I, I find it so amazing. I mean, you know, Gary would have been well within his rights to say, sod off, Don, Monday night's mine, you can bugger off and do what you want to do. But he's going to take Wednesday night so that we don't leave anybody in the lurch. Everybody's going to have a programme right the way through. We'll do it on Monday, VT Talk, um, and let you know what's going on. Bring you right up to speed with what the, the compromise amendments are, all of that kind of stuff, and let you know what you can do to help out um, in terms of, of right the MAPs and that kind of thing. Um, I suppose I ought to give this thing another try, given as you know, it's fifty quid's worth. It's got to be worth three or four draws, I suppose. <laughs> mm. Mm. Even the, the birds whistling. Uh, yeah, you can hear them. They've yeah. realised I'm on air. It's a, that was almost a death march. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it, it, how do you use menthol? I don't know. It's quite like it, actually. I, I use it during the day when I'm at work. What about you, Chris? Because you're always on menthol. I don't have a problem with it. It's just menthol. Does it not make you uh, windy? No, it doesn't. Does it make you windy, Gary? No, but my wife's dinner does. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> you do not half walk a thin line, don't you? Oh, bless her. I've seen the muscles <laughs> as well. I've definitely <laughs> seen the muscles. It's... Oh God! What's chat saying? There's all kinds of stuff going on here. It's just just as well I can't read it. I think um, I was going to do a back to back with the, uh, the 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 Kanga Pro Tank and the Vision Victory BBC, um, but we're not going to have time to do that because we've only got five minutes left. We have. What I'm going to say is, what Mark Green 
Marco Van Basten told you on Tuesday night about the vision victory is absolutely right. And I've discovered something else. I need to do a little bit of checking to make sure that I'm absolutely right. But I think you can use Pro Tank coils in the Victory BCC and Vicky Verti. Has he just dropped? Oh, he, has, he has as well. He's gone. I've upset him. I've upset probably him. Probably his missus pulled the plug. I wouldn't be at all surprised. I bet she's gone and just clammed him over the head. We didn't see anything coming through. If anybody <laughs> in chat. The Vision BCC. Right, let's let's do a very, very quick bit on the Vision BCC. If if is he back? No, there's something coming. We'll go into closey up he can and let me just pull it to bits very, very quickly. Um, seriously, go and watch Mark O's show from Tuesday night if you're not sure. Um, is he coming? There's something going on. I can hear all sorts of things happening. Can you hear that, Chris? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's, it's Gary coming back. Injured by the sounds of things. Right, here we go. It's, it's actually very, very similar in construction. There's your inside. He's gone. There's your inside of the the Vision BCC. If it looks a lot like um, an EVOD, it, it should because it's very, very similar sort of construction. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll put that down there and then by dint of careful juggling, he said, I can also get the bottom of the Kanga off, of the Pro Tank off, and you'll see the difference in the length of the inside bit. But putting them side by side they're actually the same diameter so it's eminently possible he said moving them back in to use the pro tank inside uh, the yeah the pro the kanga pro tank bits inside the bbc so the two are almost interchangeable. That was the little bit I found out that I, I thought was quite, uh, was quite interesting. But I'll put them back together. Um, I have to say I've been using this Vision uh, Victory BBC all day. Uh, let's go back to non close you cam. And I'm thoroughly enjoying what it's doing. It's batting the vapour out, he said, dropping stuff all over the place. Um, the only thing I do have a minor challenge with, and it is only minor, is it's slightly noisy, I think. Um, ego threaded, as you might expect, uh, but that's not a problem, and it's, it's absolutely blitzing it out. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. mm. That is really rather nice. And Doug Phillips, you should be ashamed of yourself. He said, what is the license fee for vaping the BBC? Oh, seriously, <laughs> honestly, it's brilliant. Ah, uh, uh, no. And Chrono says it depends on whether you're vaping in colour or monochrome. <laughs> I'm colour blind, it's all the same to me. Um, this, this victory is gorgeous. Takes a full five mils, that much I've measured. Um, and it absolutely blitzes it out. In fact, I'm going to just out of daftness because I can do these things. That was a 3.7 volts. I'll take it a 4.5 on here and give it a chuck. And you'll see it just absolutely cracks it out. Lovely flavour as well. One minute, Dave. That would be what you call plumes absolutely um guys it's been amazing can i say thank you to gary for calling in unannounced as he did and stitching me up to do video for him and i'll tell you what when i get decent at this for the second lot of sin your tip i'll do some i'll do some there you go once i know i'm decent enough and they're going to be of the same sort of quality as gary's if i can get there i'll do some sin your tips as well uh, and add to it so it'll be more than 20 in the second lot we'll try and make it two a night um chris thank you for coming in in vision tonight no problem i have to say you're better than daz <laughs> <laughs> people uh to to coin mr dibley's phrase it's been emotional don't forget to tune in on sunday night 
when Dave Kitson will be presenting Dave's Tackle Box on Monday night for VT Talk, for it has changed, Tuesday night for um, Vapor Scene, but there'll be no DE Talk on Tuesday coming because we'll not be able to get it out. Wednesday for Tin Your Tip with Gary Dibley and the mod master that is Mark and then Thursday assuming I'm back I'm going to try and bring you as much footage as I can of uh, what went on in Brussels and also let you know what happened in Parliament at the meeting but until then vape on vape hard and don't let the bastards grind you down we'll see you next time take care bye bye